Hey everybody, welcome back to the Armed Scotsman. Today on the table we have a Rock Island Army 1911. What? PSA Admiral? Let's get this one going. All right, folks, all joking aside, this is a PSA Admiral. They are made by Rock Island Armory. Uh, PSA is very upfront about that. Um, so just, just right off the bat, be aware this is a Rock Island Armory 1911 made for PSA under the name of the PSA Admiral. This is the 45, uh, uh, 45 ACP and this is the tactical version. Let's change this camera angle around. We'll go over some close-up details and go over the gun. Okay, so let's take a close-up look here. Um, let's go over real fast what it comes with. It comes with two metal mags. These are made in Italy and they're made by, let me see if I can get that into shot here. So, Act Mag, I mean, they're made in Italy. Comes with two eight round metal mags. Comes with a very standard hard case. Comes with a user's manual. And that's it. Okay, so let's take a close look at this PSA Admiral, aka Rock Island Armory. Um, and so let's take a close up look. Obviously, you've got your magazine well here. You have these kind of brown, kind of almost orangey uh, grips on here. They are wood. They obviously, you know, you can change these out to anything you want, just removing these screws and switch them out to any other uh, 1911 grips that you like. Um, you do have some nice kind of texturing on the back here. Going around to the front and you have these serrations just like so moving on up obviously you have your grip safety right here with a nice size beaver tail to get a really good firm purchase on the gun and then moving up just a little bit more here see if I get this light to really kind of reflect this your mag release does have some texturing on here like so it's really easy to manipulate I have medium sized hands and I can manipulate that pretty well without breaking too much of a grip on on the gun Obviously, you have your trigger guard right here. You're kind of a skeletonized uh, trigger. Now, they say that the trigger is four to six pounds. I say we check that out and see what we get with this one. So I'm going to use my Wheeler trigger skill here. Let's, let's check this out. 14 pounds, 14 ounces, so literally five pound trigger pull. Let's try that one more time just to see if we get the same result or close to. Fourteen pounds, fourteen ounces. So just shy of a five pound trigger pull and that was pretty consistent on that trigger pull also as you noticed. Let's check out the trigger real fast. Got a little bit of take up right there. Pretty decent clean break. Let's try the reset. A little bit of let out. And you heard that reset. Pretty positive and tactile. Not a bad trigger. Not the best I've ever felt in the 1911, but uh, certainly better than most uh, striker fired pistols you're going to shoot. Uh, moving on up, you do have an ambidextrous safety, as you can see on either side here, and it has these ridges as well. Um, so put the hammer back. So you can manipulate that however you would like. Not too shabby. This is going to be your slide lock and takedown lever right here. You can see it doesn't sit out too far. It's pretty flush, so it, you know it's not going to be much of a snagging hazard. It's got again, it's got some really nice ridges on there to um, to act uh, to actuate that. At the back here, you do have a skeletonized hammer, like so. And again, you would notice the kind of the common theme right here. If I can get that to focus properly, you do have some more ridging on there. So obviously it's not going to slip if your hands are wet or something like that. Right beside here, you might be able to see this. Let me just bring this a little closer. It's got some very minimalistic, um, that, that's, that's the PSA Admiral logo, which I actually kind of like. I think it looks pretty dope. It's not, 
in your face or anything like that. It's on either side. Looks pretty good. Beside there, you're going to notice that we do have some front and back, actually front and back serrations on here. Serrations are pretty good. You can get a firm grip on them. Um, for press checks or whatever you want to do. Um, on the other version, so this one's a tactical version, you have a kind of more of a plain Jane version um, which doesn't have the front serrations. So the, the tactical model does have the front serrations and that it actually has a 1913 pick reel on the bottom here which the other version does not have either. So you got some nicer upgrades for um, on this particular pistol, the tactical version, or if you like the kind of the old school um, with no rail and without the front uh, serrations, which I get, I think they look pretty sweet. You can also get that version also. Moving on up to the top, you do have an adjustable sight here. As you can see, your rear sight is adjustable. And at the very front here, I probably can't get that to focus, but we do have a fiber optic, there we go, fiber optic uh, front sight, like so. So when that light hits it, it will really pop. Uh, not too shabby at all. Moving to the other side, you can see we've got the ejection port right here. Okay, for disassembly, just the same as any other um, uh, 1911. Let's see if I can do this on camera. It's kind of hard to always do these kind of things uh, behind the camera. Um, obviously, check, make sure you're unloaded, which we are. Take your tool, and then this tool is off Amazon for like 10 bucks. And then you're going to put it on the front, push down, and you're going to turn. Now, you be really careful because if you don't... There we go. This part here will shoot off like a rocket. Um, so that is, you can take, and then you can take out your your guide spring, and then from here you can push this back, and you line up the the first little notch. This is your slide lock notch, and this little notch is your takedown notch. You're gonna line that up. On the other side, you're just gonna push. If it's all lined up properly, just push that through, and lift out this pin or slash slide lock slide release. And you can take this off, your guide rod, and then you have your barrel right here. Now the guide rod, and take out your front piece, and then just push your barrel forward like so. It's a five inch barrel. You can see here it's all been obviously coated, except from this part obviously where it's marked right here, 45 ACP. Inside of the slide, the finish looks pretty good. It's all been coated on the inside like so all right so we're back together okay let's talk about shooting um i have gone through 50 rounds of federal um hollow points uh shot just fine no problems whatsoever and then i went through about 200 rounds of just cheap ball ammo again no problems whatsoever with the gun all right so what's my final thoughts on this i think overall uh, for the price point it is pretty good it's not something that i am um, particularly like in love with by any means but I think for a relatively inexpensive 1911 that goes bang every time if that's kind of in your budget this is a great option um, as I say it's got some nice upgrades over there is another version which is a little cheaper but doesn't come with that rail as I mentioned so this is perfect more you know this is better for obviously home defense in my opinion because you can put a light on here and if a home defense gun in my opinion should absolutely have a light on there. It does have the skeletonized hammer and a couple of other nice features like that. So overall for the price point, pretty dang decent. Um, that's all I really gotta say about it. All right, folks, if you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm happy to help out wherever I can. And that's it for me. Until next time, we'll catch you later.